Pork Chop, how are you, man? Hey, man, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Doing great. Back just probably a couple of months ago, let's see if you remember this, it was AEW Dynamite in South Haven, Mississippi at Lander Center. There was a big Legends of Memphis Wrestling reunion. You were there, and I saw you there. That was the first time I had seen you in probably 20 years or so. Yeah, yeah. I was there. I definitely was there. Me and a, me and a good friend, that Mike, big Mike, that jumped your dog. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we was there. Yeah. Now, when I, when I walked up to you, one of the first things that you said to me was, you don't remember me, do you? And I said, oh, my gosh, you kidding me? Pork chop tech cash. I can't believe that you remember me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I definitely remember that. Sure How did. was it being back around guys been- like Austin Idol and the Rock and Roll Express and, you know, all the legends of Memphis wrestling, Dave Brown, you guys all got back together and, and got in the ring one last time. Yeah, but, you know, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, you know. Because I hadn't seen these guys for a long time. And, you know, when you don't see a friend for a long time, when you see him, you have a good time with him. Absolutely. And Spectre, Spectre, Jimmy Valiant. I saw, when I saw that Jimmy Valiant, man, I popped out. He said, good gracious of life. Pope job can. I said, Jimmy Valiant. He said, woo! <laughs> you know how he do. <laughs> Mercy yeah, it was, man, he was good. He was nice to see a lot of the old timers. You know what I'm saying? Very cool. Yes, now, I do have to tell you, Pork Chop, I'm looking at the beard you got going on, and I think that beard looks better than Handsome Jimmy Valiant's beard right about now. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said too. He said, <laughs> "Well, you know, I cut mine off, but he's the only guy I saw had a beard, a beard." He used to stand up, and he would drag on the floor. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is it's about all I got, poor chop. I can't really grow a really good beard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, talk some old school yeah. classic wrestling. Let's talk some yeah. old, old school classic wrestling, man. You you were in the CWA, which was the Continental Wrestling Association. You had a tag right. team partner, the Dream Machine. Everybody speaks so highly about Dream Machine. Tell us what it was like to be the partner of the Dream. Hey, being a partner of the Dream Machine was one of the greatest things that ever came together. Pope Chop Cash and the Dream Machine. We were fantastic together. I mean, we know every move that we he's the one gonna make. He don't have to say that. All he could do is look at me, and I know he what he want to do. That's how that's how good we were together. Me and my dream machine, we were fantastic. But let me tell you now, that Mad Dog, me and Mad Dog, was fantastic. The girls just like Dream Machine and Pope Chop Cat. Mad Dog and Pope Chop Cat, we were something else. Had two great partners. You had some of the, the best tag team matches. I mean, listen to some of these names. The Sheep Herders, who went on to be the Bush right. Rock, Hall of right. Fame. The Fabulous right. Ones. Steve right. and Stan. Unbelievable. Yes. And even, even the Rock and Roll Express. Now, those are three Hall of Fame tag teams right there. That's it. That's it. That's it. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you now, you can't take nothing away from the Rock and Roll Express. Them boys was good. They were great. And and I saw, like I said, like you said, but they brought back a whole lot of memories. And I saw the Rock and Roll with Express. It brought back a whole lot of memories. And he said, man, he said, I wish Dream Machine was here, you know. And that, you know, that brought back a, lot, a whole lot of memories. And and they say, man, and you and man, you know, you know, yeah. Both my partners, you know, the good Lord blessed me. I'm still here, but I had two great partners, and and I will never let nobody forget them. Machine 
and man, dog. You had some really good friends too. I've I've talked to Coco Beware this week, and then of course, yeah, I just, yeah, I just finished an interview with King Cobra, and uh, both of those yeah. guys brought brought up the name Pork Chop Cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna say I'm brave. I had one heck of a career in wrestling, and uh. And I, you know, and I thank everybody that helped me to get where I was at. I appreciate it, cause you know you can't do nothing by yourself. You got to have help. And the people that helped me, they stood behind me, and I made them proud of me. I went from bottom, second, third, fourth, and made a bit. Yep, you know. That's, and that's what's all matter, you know. Uh, you know, cause you meet people going up, and sometimes you meet people coming down. That's but right. I, I had one heck of a career in wrestling. Let's let's talk about it for just a second. You made your debut in 1968, and here we are in the year 2020. So you have seen the business literally transform from the way that it was back in the 60s all the way to what it is right now in 2020. And, right. And it wasn't the friendliest as far as getting your opportunities, but Porkchop, you were right. in championships all throughout pretty much each of those decades that I mentioned, whether it was the NWA, the CWA, you always had championship gold around your waist. Yes, because you know why? Because I fought for everything I got. If somebody tell me, say, well, you can't do that. No, ain't no such thing. You can't do it. No, if you tell me I can't do it, I'm going to show you that I can do it. You know, I'm going to make a lie out of it. Say, Whoa, boy, he sure did it. You know, but that's the way it was. Back in the day, wrestling was wrestling. This stuff they got now, they say, entertainment. But you know, back in the day, you had to fight for it. everything you got. You know, nobody did you that. You got yeah. to fight for it. I was in, I was in Florida. He said, well, you were the first man. I said, first man? Yeah. I said, okay. So I said, well, I point my finger at my head. I said, well, they got me on the first man. I said, but I'm going to make them have to follow this yeah. first man. And I went out there and they, for Mo to come back, he said, God, dude, man. I said, well, you put me on the first man. I said, I'm the first man, so the man of it or whoever follow me, hey, if they can't follow the first man, then they, they don't need to be in the man of it. That's exactly right. I give them something to follow. That's it. That's sure. what, that's the way I was brought up. Vince McMahon, the old man, started me. And growing up in my Zoom, growing up in my tenor, they said, look, when you go out there, you give it everything you got. Leave it in the ring. And that's what I always did. We're talking to yeah. Pork Chop Cash, Memphis wrestling legend. All right, so we have this platform, Pork Chop. You've got a lot of fans that are watching not only in Memphis, Tennessee, but literally watching all over the world. Is there anything that you want to say to the public and to the wrestling fans for today? Listen, the wrestling fans, I don't care where you at. Pork Chop say, hey, happy new year. Have a good time and be careful for all this thing going around because like I said years ago I'm the man of the hour too sweet to be sour listen I want y'all to watch watch me now you know 80 years old and I'm still doing a lot of the things that young people can't do I work out three days a week I walk three days a week I try to keep myself in shape. The world, the rest of the world, Pope Cow Cash, still alive. And I hope y'all see me and say, hey, I hope 
I can be like this guy one day. Well, Pork Chop, I really appreciate you taking the time to join me here today on Championship Wrestling. And hopefully I'll see you in person real soon. Okay. And I hope to see you in person real soon. And you tell all the wrestling fans, Pork Chop say, hello, I am the man of the hour and too sweet to be sound.